Welcome to the channel everyone. In this video I'm going to go over a complete guide to the Blunder Forge, the mystery box, and of course the first key you can get. Now the first you can find the mystery box when you come up to the forge and you get that broken bridge you want to go left drop down and then inside this little cave you're going to get your mystery box. Now I am going to let the forge play out the whole way guys it is a little sped up but I'm going to put timestamps down below in the description. For those of you who are just looking for the key and how to get it, or some of you that just want this nice little cheese spot with the Whisper of the Worm. Okay, now for a little guide on the actual forge itself. Now you can actually probably break up the actual forge area into, let's say, three areas. On the back right, there you got this cave. On the left, you got the ledges. On the back left, you got like another set of ledges. Now this is going to be the three main areas where the ads are coming in from. If you guys are lower light, an easy strategy is to stack all three guys in the caves off in the back right. Now you want to clear these ads as fast as you can. The object is not to pick up the orbs as soon as possible. You need to keep the ads cleared. You know, if everybody's running for the orbs, you can get overwhelmed with the ads pretty quick. The orbs do stay there for quite some time. I think at one point we, we had almost 10 orbs lying on the ground in a pile. And next guys, the weapons you want to use. Personally, I like a hand cannon. It is all close combat. Quick and easy, and I have one that has Firefly on it. Works the best for clearing the ads, and it's also called Rampage. Next guys, you're going to want a fast firing shotgun. The EP shotgun, or the Perfect Paradox, worked perfect for this. And then for the heavy slot, I run the Whisper of the Worm. Makes it easy to window down the boss at the end. Another thing I want to mention guys is if your teammates go down, it's not always the best to revive them right away. Uh, they can respawn and come back in. Now if you stop to res him and you're not clearing the ads, you, know, you can't just get overwhelmed there. So in my opinion, it's better just to keep the ads clear to let him respawn himself and then come back over. Alright guys, now the first key for the mystery box is actually found from shooting two of those blue orbs that put up the shields around the enemies. Now the first one, when you spawn in, you go the whole way back on the right in the cave, and you shoot it here. Then the second one guys, on the left side, you have to look out over a cliff. You'll see that little rock on the right, it'll be spawned right there between the trees. Then after you shoot both of those guys and you finish the forge, you don't have to win the forge, but as soon as you end the forge, there will be a chest that spawns in behind it, and you open that chest, it's going to give you your first key. And those two orbs guys, they don't spawn in until you complete the first wave, and it takes a little bit, then they will spawn in, and you can shoot them. Now if you're using the whisper for the heavy for the boss, this nice little spot is you come back here on the cliff where you shot that uh, blue orb, and then you're going to jump up on these rocks, and if you crouch down, you can just sit there and spindle away at the uh, boss, and none of the ads will be able to hit you. have it guys the completion of the forge i hope this video helped you out if it did go ahead and give it a like newcomers to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more d2 content like this